On this week's World of Saltwater Fishing, the Mark 6 is off New England, westerly Rhode Island to be more specific, and I'll be chasing a trophy striped bass with Corey Crochetier. This is one incredible episode you cannot afford to miss. George Bovaromo's World of Saltwater Fishing. Big fish don't stand a chance. This is a rather intriguing fishing adventure. Takes place out of Westerly, Rhode Island. And once again, I'm hooked up a Cory Crochetier. So George originally contacted me um, and was looking to do another show. We didn't want to do bluefin tuna again this time. So this time I said, why don't we try the striped bass? And he gave me a time slot. And with the time slot that time of year, I said July, the full moon, really good around Block Island. Um, we'll do the shoot right out of Westerly like we did last year. Um, so we'll launch out of the same arena. And uh, that Block Island striped bass fishery in the middle of July is pretty hard to beat. That full moon can be some of the best fishing of the year for those. Corey had several spots that we programmed into the machine, and he said, let's go to this one first. I think this one could produce, it's been on fire lately. So we took off. Just an absolutely gorgeous late afternoon, nice cool breeze, Mark 6 is just running beautifully, and we made it out to the spot. From that point, we would see what the current was doing, how it would influence our drift, and how we wanted to stage our drifts across what was relatively a fairly short piece of structure. Came out of deep water, shallowed up to around that 50, 55 foot mark or so, maybe a little shallower on some points, and we would fall off into deep water again. So we started our drifts. As we're coming over this one peak in the bottom structure, of course, to take a look at these bass, and you look and you just saw a bass just carpeting the bottom. So we marked that concentration of fish, we go up current, we start drifting back over them. Corey's working a long plastic eel. I'm dropping down flutter style jigs and the anticipation level is high, but remember, the bite wasn't gonna really materialize till once the sun dropped out and that tide was at its absolute peak. Well, as it turned out, Corey nails a bass on the very first drift. That's a good one. Yeah, this fish got some weight to him, George. He's coming up high now. All righty. That's a good one, dude. <laughs> Just because it's the first one, why don't you grab the net? Okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. I'm going to come around you. Yep. Let's see what he's going to get in this net or what? Yeah, we'll get him in. Look at him coming up here. Like here he comes. Yep. Here she comes. <laughs> How long is uh, the leader? It's about four feet. All right, here we go. And she's in. Bell's open. <laughs> Corey, I can't even lift this thing. <laughs> Come on now. How about that? What this, do you think, George? I think it's one of the biggest striper I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad one, huh? Not a bad one. Not a bad one. When this fish went in there, I tried to lift the net and said, Corey, I don't know if I'm gonna lift this net up. I knew it was a monster. Oh, that. Uh, Corey, I like it. <laughs> Not it, a bad light tackle this fish, This was huh? totally worth, this one fish totally worth <laughs> the drive from South Florida to Rhode Island. 23 hours for one striped bass. Not bad. I'll take it any day. I'll drive <laughs> another 23. Absolutely. Check this out. What would you say pound-wise? I noticed you guys go so much with the inches here. Yeah, this is probably 35 pounds, maybe close to 40. That, that's an awesome bass. Yeah, that's a nice fish. And who says you got a fish in the middle of the night? Jeez. <laughs> We, we, we you know, established the Pancake Club. We might do the Barbecue Rib Club. We can max out here. Ah, uh, Corey, I gotta watch you put this brood in the water. She's probably okay. She's biting down on me pretty good. All righty. I'll get her top up. Look at the kick and, and off. Like nothing ever happened. How about that? Ah, oh, Corey. <laughs> and this fish was giving us unbelievable account of itself with Corey on that rod, I mean, to the point, I was thoroughly impressed. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Penn, let the battle begin. Mako, you'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. 
George. We'll be right back. I'm fishing off Wesley, Rhode Island with Corey Crochetier. The Mark 6 is a long way from home, but that's okay. The big bass are chewing. As we were doing our first drift, uh, we did nail our first fish, but I was keying in on, you gotta watch the sounder. Um, a lot of times what you'll see is you won't see like piles of fish stacked up off the bottom. A lot of times what you'll see is a couple of fish really tight to the bottom. And these fish are lazy. They don't wanna burn a lot of calories. So what they'll do is they'll lay down in that current close to the bottom. You can barely see them on the sonar. Um, good electronics plays a key. So you have a, a nice chirp sonar, really helps make a separation between the fish and the bottom. And also we have kelp and rocks down there. So you can see the difference between those. You're not false marking these fish. After our first pass, uh, I caught the first fish and we marked quite a few on the first drift. So I was like, you know, that drift looked good. The, their speed was pretty good, able to hold bottom with the bait. So let's, let's just try and repeat that drift. Let's make sure we can get right back on that line. Um, and as soon as we pull back up, we start marking them and um, start marking the fish, start setting my jig down. Next thing you know, I'm on again. There we go. All right, Corey, got the hot rod. I love to see. It's another good one. Oh, I just missed one too just now. Same spot, George. Same spot on, on the chart. Man, I'm getting bumped. They're, I'm just not, they're not hooking up on me here. That's fun. I had two shots down there, missed them both. Yeah, I, ha I had two wax before I, I stuck it on this uh -huh. one. Okay, mine up. Give you the courtesy here. Net or grab them. What do you think on this one here? Oh, uh, we'll see. Yeah, let's the net it. worked out pretty well last one. Yes, it did. I, I felt confident in it. <laughs> Bring it back out. You going under boat? Anything I can be doing to help you here? There you go. You ready? Oh, here we go. You're right, you clear. Yep, there we go. Clear, he comes. Yeah, clear. Come up to the top. Here's the here's the fish. Yep. Got a deep color. Another nice one. She got some shoulders on yeah, her, no huh? Doubt. I'm not done yet. Let me pull, pull that boat around. You got it. Don't nope, think I got her head now. Not quite. Yes, quite. There we go. In? In. Bail open. And coming in. Fish number two. Oh. There we go. All right. There it is. Pull your fish out, your brute. Look at that. It's down here. Nice fish, huh? How do you like that one? <laughs> it's amazing. Nice light tackle, Block Island fish. It's a good trade out. You can give them a little piece of the plastic. <laughs> nice fish. Yes, it is. Look at that. Ready for the release? Go for it. Watch that beauty swim away. Usually. Turn them up right? Yeah, she's ready. I would say she's ready. There it goes, and then a couple slaps. It's so great to see him head on down. Yeah. Telling George, watch the sonar because we're still marking. So uh, finish that drift out, catch the first fish. And then um, at that point, George starts yelling at me, what am I doing wrong? We got to figure this out. So I'm catching a fish doing a blind drift and he's not getting the fish. So we got to reset again and then we'll, we'll go over the scenario again so that way he can get on the fish as well. So I told him, I said, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm a diehard guy. I'm a Taurus, May, stubborn kind of guy. I said, one more drift, Corey. I said, you get a fish on your setup, I'm gonna switch over. And darn if he didn't do it. There we go. Oh, I'm right here. Another good one, George. That's what I want to hear. I'm on two. Got one? I, I got something. I made me another sea bass. Yep, mine's coming up on the surface. There you go. Junior dinner. <laughs> yeah, mine's right here on the surface. All right, ready, George? Go ahead. Pull one head and in. And another happy customer. Yep. All right, bail's open. Rod and rod holder. <laughs> It's like all cookie cutter sized fish, but they're all monster cookies. Yeah, not bad, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Pretty amazing fish there for sure. We got them right here on the over. side. It's all you. Ready, George? Yes, first. Go for it. Give him a good slap. Heck, and wave to the Wake him up. There they that go. Some, it's all in that one spot, right? You, 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 right, right in that right one on. spot, right when we start to come up the hill. That's right where they're all sitting is mm -hmm. right there. Well, now we are cranking in bass on basically every single drift. The sun's still up. What happened to our nighttime show? 
this was actually really good because we keep at this pace, we might be back to Mohegan Sun enjoying the resort and not sitting out here till midnight or one o'clock in the morning. That's a pretty good deal going on right now. Let's keep it going. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Simrad. Go with Simrad and go with confidence. Rapala holds the world record for world records. Suffix always use the best line. Starbright Boat Care Products, blending technology with performance since 1973. George, we'll be right back. It's a gorgeous day off Westerly, Rhode Island. Corey Crochetera and I are enjoying fast action with big striped bass. So, another big bass released. We go back up for drift number five. And now I switched over. I'm convinced, or Corey has me convinced that these bass are keying in on them sand eels, and that's exactly what they want. Doubled up, doubled up. <laughs> Unless you had a big fish follow you and you really wanted that bait, you know? A lot of head shakes. So are you getting head shakes in yours? Yeah. All right. Now we got a double. Running line off too? Yes, you it good, is. You got I a got a fish. bass. I got a nice bass. Must have followed that up. How you doing down there? I'm OK. <laughs> All right. Just trying to keep them clear of the motors. You good in the back there? I'm, I'm going in the Long Island Sound of the Connecticut now <laughs> with this fish. No, I just had a tail pump on the surface here. and getting closer. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice one. I was glancing over, looking at glistening off in that sun. But, but I have one question for you, Corey. Yeah. I thought you said it was supposed to be a night show. <laughs> well, sometimes they, they do what they want to do. If they want to bite now, we'll, we'll take it full advantage. That's a nice fish. <clears throat> the mouth on that one. You ready, Rob? <sighs> oh, that's a beauty. Let me take a How look at that one. God, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And you're still tight on yours. I am. Mine's there we still go. Hanging out. All right, I'm gonna get a quick release go on this guy. It. Let's get your fish in. Hold this out and clear. <laughs> and a big girl. Look at that. All right. Perfect. All right, you ready? Yes. I'm gonna grab the net real quick. Okay. Wherever you want to be, Corey, it's not fine by me. It's a nice fish, dude. Very nice fish. There we go. She's right. in. Okay, bail is open. All right, fish is in. Around. in. She runs up top. Hey, Corey, I got to tell you, the bass is spectacular, but what I like equally as well What's that? is seeing you with the actual landing net rod for a change. <laughs> That's a nice fish, George. Look at the size of the tail on that fish. Yeah, you're clear. All right, so I'm straight straight coming out. <laughs> Look at that fish, huh? That is a nice fish, George. Nice fish. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look at that, huh? That's a, it is a boost for sure. Oh, this is it. Rhode Island. Light tackle, spin, artificial lure bassin for the big trophies. That's a trophy fish right there. This is why we drove from South Florida up here for this stuff. You will get doubles, and a lot of times if one guy's on a fish, usually that means that you're going over a school to fish. A lot of times these fish will hang in the same areas together, so it's not singles or, or doubles on, that are down there on the bottom. So if one guy's hooked up and he doesn't really need help with the boat or you know the fish isn't close to the boat, the other angler should stay down on the bottom to try and you know catch a fish and maybe get a double at the same time. The Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino is in Uncasville, Connecticut, which is about a 40 minute drive from Westerly, Rhode Island, where we were fishing. I've stayed here numerous times and even brought our Saltwater Sportsman National Seminar Series to the resort. The amazing destination is comprised of two unique casinos and luxurious hotel accommodations. The rooms are so posh and comfortable, you hate to leave them even for fishing. There's retail shopping, live entertainment ranging from small acts in a wolf den lounge to some of the biggest names in music at the Mohegan Sun Arena. The restaurants here are many and vary from light fare to incredible dinners. My favorite is the Summer Shack, which serves up incredibly fresh local and regional seafood in a New England clam shack-like setting. And let's not forget those run into parking concessions. I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to Joseph Crowley, a big fan of our show. The Mohegan Sun, experience once, and you'll be back time and time again. 
Mercury Performance Stats, Westerly, Rhode Island. Seas, Calm. Power, Triple Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards. Props, Mercury Inertia Eco 21 inch pitches. Total miles, 65. Consistent cruise, 5,700 RPMs. Speed, 56 miles per hour. Total fuel burn, 72 gallons. We'll be right back. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum. Never a spectator. VMC, your expert in hooks. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. George's Tackle Locker, brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. Dartron's line of fuel treatments include their standard enzyme fuel treatment, fuel stabilizer, and the rain clean and motor treatment. Formulated for both gasoline and diesel engines, I'll add a bottle of their enzyme fuel treatment to my truck, especially when traveling and or trailering long distances. It keeps the fuel system clean, which in turn helps maintain optimum performance. I also add it to my boat, especially in remote areas where fuel may be suspect. It stabilizes fuel and helps cure and remove ethanol fuel problems by dispersing any water within the fuel as submicron sized droplets, which are safely combusted. For boats that sit for extended periods of time, Startron Stabilizer does exactly that, as well as prevent moisture buildup, gum, varnish, and carbon deposits. And finally, the rain clean and motor treatment is a heavy duty enzyme formulation that removes heavy deposits and prevents the formation of new ones. It's an ideal blend for older engines. So the next day, afternoon I should say, we go back to the Avondale Boat Yard. It's three o'clock, meet up with Corey. Let's go right back out there. Another gorgeous New England day. So day two started off the same. Beautiful weather. We cross over that ridge. We mark bass. And sure enough, here it goes again. He's not slowing down. If you need a little assist, let me know. Yeah, you ran off a lot of line, George. I know. I'm, and I got one hooked up here, too. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to help you, though. Double header here. Corey has one. It just won't stop running. I just hooked up. Mine's being a little more on the tamer side. So I'm going to go after Corey's and keep mine right here and do the honorable thing. George, last time you were backing down on fish, probably sailfish, right? Not striped bass. This is the first for me backing down on a striped bass for you. There you go. We're good there. Neutral, George. All right, going to neutral. I'm in neutral. OK. All uh, right, I'm going to have fun with mine a little bit. Is that OK? Yep, yep. Okay, you're good. You. You're good. There you come. I see color down here with mine. Corey's bass was certainly bigger than mine and took precedent. I quickly released my fish and gave Corey my full support. After all, if one of us looks good, we all look good. All right, bell's open. Oh, that's not a bad one, huh? How can you say not a bad one? <laughs> so after that uh, final release, and here we were even an hour earlier than the day before, we ended up getting uh, four striped bass that day. Even though it was a weekend, he had nowhere near the boats that I expected to be there. But you did have a, a grouping of boats that were just to the outside of us. I guess they saw us doing a show and they were all excited and one group came by waving and the whole bit. And of course we sent the drone around, got them on camera a little bit, show them a little bit of love. And it's just a fun area to fish. I mean, this is what you like to see and people having a good time on the water. And uh, of course with beautiful New England weather on top of it, you know, even we're up here. So as we're running back in, sun's still hanging brightly. As we start to make our way back inshore, I'm thinking about this whole trip. Again, this was supposed to have been a night trip. We were gonna stay out till midnight, one or two in the morning. Both days, we were back in with still enough sunlight to get in the slip and see exactly what you were doing. So one aspect, you were all keyed in doing that nighttime striped bass deal, you're ready for it. But on the other side of the coin, how could you go wrong with those crazy wild afternoon bites and tied up at the marina with still enough light. What a terrific trip to Rhode Island. The trophy striped bass fishing here has been on fire. Corey got us on him with light tackle. 
I can only say great things about it. If you've not experienced it, get up here and give it a whirl. We did totally terrific. We had great weather on the weekend. We caught a lot of fish. We had a great time, good laughs, um, you know, and it couldn't have worked out better. If you want to keep track of our fishing adventures, we welcome you to follow us on our social media. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash George.Poveromo. I'm on Instagram at George Poveromo. And you can see our shows in 4K broadcast quality on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is George Poveromo TV. Jump aboard and ride along with us.